All right, we are visiting with Amanda Grace today. Here's a video she did. You can see less, well, 19 hours ago, so less than a day. Today's date is the 25th of February 22. And you can see the title, Amanda Grace Talks, Prophetic Alert, Invasion, and Insight. Now, what Amanda is doing in this video is she is reading some of her old prophecies where she says that the living God told her gave her prophecy about the invasion of Russia into Ukraine. And so what I'm going to do is present the evidence, and then you can decide as to whether this woman is a true prophet, or indeed she is lying about the whole thing. Keep in mind, she says that God gave her this information. So we'll play some clips, we will document it, and then at the end of this you can certainly decide again whether she's telling the truth or, in fact, lying. Here we go. Then, this goes on, and I'll show you here. To, now we jump to November 22nd, 2021. All right, so what we want to do is document that. So here we go. We're going to put this all down. Amanda Gray's alleged prophecy on Russia-Ukraine. We're going to document number one. On February 24th, yesterday, she is rereading a prophecy given from November 22nd, 2021. All right, we're all documented here. We come back to the video and we'll let it play. And says the Spirit of the Lord this day, Russia is restless. The bear is awakening from somewhat of a slumber. Calls him a bear again. Watch Russia make a bold in capitals move that shall put other countries on high alert. The Lord's talking about this invasion. As Russia perceives the weakness of other nations and sees its chance to advance. It was 10 days after that word that troops were first reported at the border. All right. Did you hear that? It was 10 days after this word that troops were first reported at the border. So we put in number two. She says it was 10 days after her alleged word from Almighty God that troops were first reported at the border. So the word that she's rereading was given November 22nd. So this would have been somewhere around December 1st or 2nd of 2021 that she says troops were first reported at the border. Is this true? Now we come back to the video and we want to be thorough. So we're going to play a little snippet where she again confirms this. So listen. But what the Lord did warn is that they were going to do this. And 10 days after he warned this in November, the troops were at the border. So again, she says 10 days after God warned this, the troops were at the border. All right. So we're back at our page here and I threw in there a question. And again, remember, I hope that you as the listener, you who claim to serve Jesus Christ in truth and sincerity, would answer this honestly. Here it is. Using maturity, common sense, and discernment, do you believe Amanda Grace heard these words from the living God? After all, in 1 John 4, 1, we are told to test the spirits to see, indeed, if they are of God because many false prophets have gone out into the world. And again, remembering what she said, she received this prophecy November 22nd, and it was 10 days after she allegedly received it that troops were first reported at the border. You can pause this and kind of wrestle with this to see if you think, you know, yeah, yeah, she's telling the truth. Well, now that you're back, I'm going to prove to you that Amanda Grace is indeed an absolute liar lying in the name of jesus christ this is what she does for a living hence coming on and making videos proving to you or at least trying to prove to you look i made a prophecy and it happened oh boy aren't i some great one so right now we are at reuters homepage news organization Look at the headline. Official Russian military buildup near Ukraine numbers more than 100,000 troops, the EU says. And as we scroll down, you can see the date. 
April 19th of 2021. More than 100,000 Russian troops have massed on Ukraine's border in annexed Crimea. The office of the EU's top diplomat, Joseph Borrell, said after EU foreign ministers were briefed by Ukraine's foreign ministry. Foreign, I'm sorry, foreign minister. And you can read through this. This was happening back in April of 2021. And read, read through it. So we wanted to establish that. This is coming from Reuters. Here's the date, April 19th, 2021. Now, as time went on, here's an article from the New York Times. You can see the headline, Russia orders partial pullback from Ukraine border region. Um, Russia's defense minister said troops would withdraw from the area about May 1st. In other words, we're proving that this has been ongoing. Now, this article, you can see the writers, Andrew and Anton, which was originally published on April 22nd, 2021, updated July 15th. So now we're into July, and we're talking about when Russia pulled back some of its already existing troops on the border. It's quite an intensive article. But again, we established that this has been ongoing. Just to further document, this is the Washington Post. Look at the headline. Russian troop movements near Ukraine border prompt concern in U.S. and Europe. This is from October of 2021. A renewed buildup of Russian troops near the Ukrainian border has raised concern among the officials in the United States and Europe who are tracking what they consider irregular movements of equipment and personnel on Russia's western flank. And again, it confirms reignited concerns that arose in April when the largest buildup of troops by Russia near the Ukrainian border in years sparked an international outcry. Again, confirming that this has been ongoing. Do you think it's possible Amanda was reading all of this? Oh, I think it was very possible. Now, finally, we come to Bloomberg. What does this say? Look at the headline. U.S. warns Europe that Russia may be planning a Ukraine invasion. What does this say? Let's Let's document the date by Alberto Nardelli, Jennifer Jacobs, and Nick Wadhams, November 11th. Gee, what was the prophecy given by Amanda? When was that? Let's come back over to this page. She was reading a prophecy that she gave, that she said God spoke, on November 22nd. This is all pretty convenient, isn't it? Now, as we come back to the article, I'll scroll down a little bit. You can read what's written here. Similar tensions erupted in the spring when the U.S. and the North Atlantic Tree Organization accused Russia of massing as many as 100,000 troops, tanks, and warplanes near the border with Ukraine. Huh. But let, me, let me go back up here. When was this article published? November 11th. This is just uh, 10, 11 days before Amanda's alleged prophecy. So as we come back over to our page, let's read this. Amanda Grace brought forth an alleged prophecy where she told her listeners that Russian troops were first placed at the Ukrainian border 10 days after her alleged word, which she says she received from the living God. The reality is that Russian troops, tanks, and planes had been there since April of 2021. Now, I know many Amanda Grace fans are going to be upset with me, and, and they'll send the comments of, how dare you, or touch not God's anointed. Uh, you can save it. Just save it. This woman is a professional liar, and sadly for her, she's going to find this out in eternity as she stands before God uh, for falsifying prophecy, for putting words in the mouth of the living God. God did not give this to her, and it's easily proven. Do you think somehow God missed those news articles, the absolute 
documentation of the troop buildup? He didn't. God doesn't miss anything. And you see, that's where the problem lies. There are so many out there that think God misses, but he doesn't. Our holy God is perfect. Amanda Grace makes a living lying in the name of Jesus Christ, and she's become rich doing it. And again, you, you don't have to believe the facts that I presented to you today, but you will see it one day in one way or another. And I pray that uh, by that time comes, it's not too late for you. Ultimately, I'll leave you with this. Amanda's mission, she wants to prove to you, albeit through deception, that she is a true prophet of the living God. This presents her with many donations and also to include gifts, gifts, gifts. It's clear to see that she uses news stories to forecast her alleged prophecies, but ultimately proving that she's nothing more than a professional guesser. So with that, I'll leave you. And again, it's going to be up to you to decide. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord in truth and sincerity. Amanda Grace again proves she's a false prophet. I'll leave a link uh, where you can see where she was busted red-handed in another video I did talking about a new protein strain being discovered. That is epic. So with that, until next time.